Well, hello friends. Welcome back to another Blender tutorial. This one's more about add-ons than it is any specific tutorial. I know you're all hungry for add-ons. We're all hungry for add-ons. New add-ons. Badass add-ons. Here's the thing. I can't live without a certain number of add-ons. That's why I'm bringing you Josh Grambo's top nine free Blender add-ons. Why nine? Because I like to go one below. Starting off, just for a refresher, just so you guys always remember, the way you add add-ons, add add-ons, add add the way you add add-ons add is to go into edit, preferences, right down here to add-ons, and then you can type in the name of your add-on and get it. Some add-ons are natively already pre-installed in Blender and just need to be enabled. Some have to be downloaded. I will give you all the links down below. Trusted links, give you those trustworthy links. So let's begin. These nine are so banging that I can't do justice to all of them in one video. So because there's nine, I'm gonna split it into three, three part videos where we break down my top nine essential Blender add-ons. Let's go. Starting at number nine. Isn't it annoying you have yourself a plane, then you go ahead and you add yourself in a cube, and then you've got that cube, and then you click the transform icon and you zoom in, and you get in there, and you grab the Z, and you bring it up, and then, well, did I get all the way? So you kind of get down, well, maybe I, maybe I didn't get all the way. Okay, there's a little bit exposed. I'll go just right there. Perfect. So now, my cube is perfectly in place. What if you didn't have to deal with that nonsense ever again? What if there was an add-on that allowed you to take that cube and just drop it? What would someone call an add-on like that? They'd call it drop it. Link is in the description under number nine. You go to the description down below, click the trusted link that I verified myself, and it's gonna take you to the gum road with the add-on drop it. You'll know you found the right place if you see Snoop Dogg driving you on in. Go ahead, go down. You're gonna see this little icon here for I want this with a number value. You gotta type in something. It's free if you want it free. You can type zero if you wanna give the creator of this add-on a little tip. Go ahead and throw him a couple bucks on there. And then click I want this gonna redirect you type in your email address give him a bunk email address if you want to I recommend at at Joe Biden Trump supporter hashtag and just click get you're gonna get an email link go ahead and download that add-on save the zip to your preferred folder do not unzip the zip save the zip add-ons have to be added on in zip folders don't unzip a successful blender add-on is like a successful first date if you have any hopes of getting your software installed, keep it zipped until the end. Keep it zipped. Now that we have the add-on, we will go back into Edit, Preferences, go ahead and click Install. You're gonna find where you installed that. Keep in mind how that Blender saves. Find Drop It Zip, Install Add-on. It should auto pop up in the search menu. Go ahead and click the little square to enable the add-on. Mine's already enabled because it's my top nine add-ons, sucker. Click install and that's it. Now when you go out of it, you're gonna have your friend the cube above your better friend the plane. You're gonna right click on the cube all the way down below delete. You're gonna see the drop it option. You're gonna click drop it and what's gonna happen? Blam, cube on plane. Look at that intersection. Whenever you see that goobledy gobbledy, that means your shit's intersecting. That's a tight drop. Drop it. Download it. Install it. Use it. It works. You can do it on multiple objects as well. So if you have a whole bunch of different things, you move them all ipsy doopsy all around. Make sure they don't intersect. Select bing bang. Right click. Drop it. Number nine. Links below in the number nine slot. Next add-on. Okay, number eight add-on. This one's an easy one. I really enjoy this one. It's a, uh, it's node arrange. 
There's several hotkeys that you can use to arrange nodes in the shader editor and the compositor, but I don't find them very good. I like to know exactly where all of the nodes are going to be automatically arranged, and that's easy enough by an add-on that Blender has pre-installed, and all you have to do is go into preferences and enable it. That is node arrange. Go in, type node, you're going to see a couple different options. See node, node arrange, click enable, come on down, click save preferences. I always have auto save preferences enabled, and then, you know, I like to save preferences. So now let's say that we have our object. We throw, you know, the plane, and we throw a cube, and we have a material over here. We got this black job over here. We got this little red job over here. And then let's say that I want to put... I want to add a color ramp to control the roughness. And then I want to add an image texture because I want to put an image and then I'm going to have the puddles. And then I'm probably going to need a normal map. So I go ahead and put my normal map down here. And then I'm going to have to have a... You know, Nodes! It's easy. Click your little panel down here. Once you've put it in, it's got a, a range. You got all sorts of different settings. I like the default because you get muscle memory. One click, blam, done. Look how beautiful it is. Boxy, square. It's 90s. Man, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Node range. Install it, use it. Becomes muscle memory. You find them like that, node arrange. Number eight, link not in the description, natively installed in Blender. Go at it. All right, number seven, and our final add on for this video is one of my personally most used and favorite kind of outside the box creative add ons. Have you ever seen when YouTube videos, podcasts, or anything have like a little a visualizer? It'll be the bars or circles, some sort of like indication of the waveform, your stagnant audio video is a little bit more dynamic. But how do you do it? In Blender, you bake it to the F curve and add it in the video editor and sound and it can be done, but it's, you know, it's a couple, it's a couple clicks. I find with this add-on, it makes creating visualizers unfathomably easy. What's a Blender visualizer called? Well, of course, it's called Blizualizer. Right here, over at GitHub, this is one of the add-ons you're gonna have to install. Down below, trusted links, click on it, it's gonna take you to the GitHub, find the folder, even if it says it's for 2.8, go ahead and download it. I'm on 2.91 and it still works. Once you get that downloaded, save it to the folder of your choice, go back into Blender, edit, preference, add-on, install, Find that zip folder, install it. Once you have it installed, enable the Bizualizer. You'll see animation Bizualizer. Once you have that enabled, save preferences, exit. Then when you come over here to this, uh, you know, the scene properties tab, a little sphere, cone, and another sphere, you're gonna go down, and then right down there, you're gonna see Bizualizer and Audio Path. Couldn't be easier. You go ahead and click this little folder icon, find your preferred audio file, come down, lots of different options to choose from, how many bars, spacing, 64 is a lot, let's go down to 10. Use radial, that just means do you want it in a circle or a straight line? We're going to keep it normal. It says regenerate visualizer, go ahead and click that, skibbity boop bop, hit play, and you have yourself a visualizer. How about that? then it works just like any other mesh that you would have in Blender. Select it, add materials, of course. Modifiers, probably. Solidify modifiers are great. Play around with it. Color, you can move them around. Put this one here, put that one here. You can make something like this that I made for my friend, Baby Beats. That's a zombie wearing a dead skin mask of his face as he mindlessly nods along to the record player playing the beat. You can do all sorts of stuff. Vocal, music, you pick it. It couldn't be easier. 
You could learn how to bake sound to an F curve, or you just get Busyizer, or you could do both. Pick whichever one's easier and go with that. Work smart, not hard, dummy. Right? All right, guys, that's it. That's number seven, eight, and nine on my essential blender add-ons list. We had drop it, download, drop it, install it, and then drop it. Next one, node arrange, muscle memory. You know exactly where your nodes are. Bing, bang, boom, click, you're in. Final one for this evening is visualizer. Automatic visualizer, couldn't be easier. Circles, bars, one, width, it's amazing. Download those guys tomorrow. We're gonna post up the next video number six five and four. What will they be? I Know what they are, but I can't tell you Why because that's not how foreshadowing works Or is it maybe in the next episode I might learn Hmm. <laughs> Until then my name's Josh Grambo if you like this video if you learn anything do me a favor I'm not gonna ask you for money. I'm gonna ask you to go laugh. I'm a stand-up comedian in Denver, Colorado. Go watch my stand-up. Go watch one of my comedy videos. Go watch one of my effed up short films. Maybe give a sub, maybe give a like. Maybe go over to Patreon slash Josh Grambo and sub over there too. I'm not asking for money, but I'm saying, you know, throw me a like, throw me a bone. Hey, oh, a bone? What kind of asshole is this? So I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next video with number four, five, and six. Essential free blender add-ons. Don't miss that. Drop a sub. Please. Bye guys. Yeah, I got a six-month-year-old little daughter. So she was born this year, which means that if you do the math, that means that she's going to graduate in the year 2037. Yes, 2037. My girlfriend's like, should we start a college fund? I was like, we should start hoarding water. <laughs> it's cute. You think this shit's just going to work out.